everybody and welcome to a new video now today's video is going to be a 40 year old man grumbling and moaning about no man's sky in its current status of how it actually is okay now this is going to it's not going to be an update video because there isn't an update so i don't need to have the name update splashed all over my thumbnails like some other content creators do on uh, youtube update 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 and the thing is guys at the end of the day i get a lot of crap from people in the community that say clickbait 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 when really at the end of the day those other people are putting updates on their thumbnails they're the clickbaiters not me okay i'm just telling you what i think at the top of my head okay i most of my videos that i do on no man's sky are basically gameplay ones and what i'm doing now is i'm actually playing the game and talking to you as i'm actually playing the game okay this is me doing it now so there's no way i could edit this in so it's like one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay there's no way i could have edited that in okay so that's me playing the game as it is okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna ro i'm gonna basically roll this gameplay video and talk to you about how hello games is okay i'm going to show you a bug in the game okay because currently at this moment in time oh look at that there what's that there that looked a bit weird didn't it look at that at the end of there let's go into our analyst visor and see what that is i think that might be another player oh i don't know what that is oh that's another bug okay i think somebody's having a space battle out there okay yeah there is another player there can you see they're having a space battle Okay, so, okay, someone's having a space battle. Okay, no worries, or they just don't like me. Okay, so, uh, what, okay, so what we'll do is, I'm going to, I'm going to speak to you about what's happened with Hello Games, what's happened with No Man's Sky, and how we've got to how we are at the moment. I'll try not to swear in this video. Honestly, I'll try not to swear. I don't like to swear in videos. But what I'll do is, I'm going to, when I do this, I'm also going to show you a, a bug in the system, so don't crucify me with a bug i didn't do this on purpose it's just something i came across okay so right then so let's talk about the waypoint update okay now the waypoint update basically wasn't the original catalyst to break the game okay the game has been dying basically since the beyond update just before when they basically screwed everybody over and deleted all the bases and then they launched the beyond update and <sighs> It, most of the community left back then like they have done now okay that is what actually happened okay so and then what they've done is they've, they've basically put updates in and it's gradually built up the community and got it back to how it was before the beyond update okay now currently they, they brought out the settlements update okay um and the settlements update was basically to me it was it was good in a way because it gave us loads of building parts um as you can see this was off one of my previous videos can you remember the resizing video that i did this is what this was off um and basically what the uh, settlements did was to put uh, basically a sims clone in in um in the game and it didn't work too well with a lot of people a lot of people got upset with it because basically they got annoyed because hello games hadn't done the research into um what what uh what people wanted in the game and the thing is at the end of the day hello games don't research anything what goes on in the game okay what people want they basically how how this how it works is and what i've actually been told about what hello games actually does is each member of their team chooses okay something that they want in the game and everybody will work towards ideas to improve that idea that they put in okay that's what i've heard they do okay and then what they do is they put a small percentage of what the community wants in with that update and they try and make it that update that's what i've heard okay that's what they do now quote me wrong in the comments if you think that's wrong but that is what i've actually heard and that's what people do okay so yeah interesting it's interesting isn't it so what what i'm saying here is is that one obviously one of the people who wanted 
this update, I'll see if I can get into a light area so you can see me better. Who wanted to say the settlements update obviously was a fan of like uh, the Sims and stuff like that and thought it would be good to give people something to do, interact with basically NPCs and stuff like that as a storyline. Unfortunately, guys, it failed miserably. They put a load of base parts in, which was good, which was a bonus, and that was great, but a lot of the base parts were basically just rubbish, and they were like those scissor lift, lifts and stuff like that that nobody wanted in the game, okay? It was basically a... And everything didn't work. A lot of it was broken, as, as you would expect... Uh, a no man's sky update to be okay most of them are broken okay even when they launch they don't do beta tests or anything so if you're new to the game guys hello games don't do beta tests on the on the updates what they do is they launch something called experimental and it goes out for pc and then people play it and they just look at the results of what people do now we're getting a bit sidetracked now okay so we'll go back to um we'll go back to the settlements People didn't like it. The base builders thought it was amazing. So what happened is they boosted the base build inside. And yes, it was good because I'll show you now. It's it's uh, We got all the the base building parts like, say, for instance, we got, where are they? These here, I think. Uh, I haven't got them all on here because I don't need them. But as you can see, a small generator and an industrial pump. Who needs these? I haven't even unlocked them because I would never use them. So... And like the cyclonic lathe and stuff like that. And what a small furnace. Who's going to need a small furnace, guys? So, yeah, it's... It's it's a lot, a lot of effort and a lot of time would have been gone into making these models. Because look how detailed they are. And if I put this down here, they act, this one actually produces smoke. So, and look at all the little wires and details and stuff like that in that building part. Now, a lot of work actually went into that, guys. Uh, into that one building part. So, you can imagine how much effort went into making the update. Now, I personally know what it's like with the files in the game. Because I'm a modder myself. I created a mod. So, I know how to alter the game files. I... I have a mod on Nexus Mods, so I have the bragging rights to say that, because I have, right? So I do know how to program in this game, okay? So so nobody else can say anything otherwise, but, okay, I know how much, how, how much of a pain in the backside it is to put all those lines of code in, right? And there's a lot of it in this game, trust me, there's a lot, okay? And Hello Games must have put a massive amounts of um, resources in to making um, uh, settlements. And the problem is, is that nobody wanted it. Nobody asked for it. And because it was an idea of the members of staff. And that's the mistake Hello Games are making, is they're not looking at what the people in the, in the, the public are wanting. Basically, what Hello Games are is that they're making the, the updates personalized to them as developers and not personalized to the community okay so they're just expecting oh well this is our creation what we're going to do is we're going to put this in here and just hope everybody's going to gel to it and enjoy it okay it doesn't work out like that okay it doesn't work out like that at all okay so yeah it's 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 just basically a waste of time and the, all the all they're gonna do is they're gonna put loads of work into the game and they're not gonna get anything out of it because nobody's gonna play it because nobody wants that in the game in the first place and that's the problem hello games is making is they're not listening to the public about what the public want and not what they want and if they can balance it out to like 50 50 then basically it's going to be a really good game now then we'll go away from the settlements and then we'll move on to the the bad one okay which was the waypoint update oh god where do i start with this so i'm going to try and fill this up while i'm talking to you about waypoint so waypoint basically it came out and it was basically a user interface or a ui update now the ui update wasn't really needed and a lot of people in the community thought well was the ui update to 
um, to help the players on Nintendo Switch with the games better. But you have to understand, which I will come out of here because I've half filled that up. I'll show you now, okay? So if we look at here, okay? As you can see, there's a slider bar there. You know, like on PC, okay? It's like PC, so we've got the bar here, okay? Can you see like that? That's how PCs would use it with a mouse. Can you see like that with the with the slider bar? This is basically PC orientated. Is this this menu here? Okay. Now they put this in originally to start with. Okay, we're, we're doing the UI to start with, and nobody liked it. Okay. Then slightly after that, they put these in. Okay, which makes everything all one. So say for instance, everything it basically shrinks everything down and makes it all one. So why couldn't they have put that in originally? Okay, that's my gripe. Why did they have to get a load of people? most of the community to complain that basically that that's what they wanted is because hello games don't communicate with the community they don't communicate at all because they put in the game what they want to put in the game then they end up finding out that nobody wants that in the game and basically it's messed everything up so yeah it's crazy and they've always been like it and i don't think they'll ever change and the unfortunate thing is that's what the death that's what will be the death of no man's sky is because no man's sky is basically a game that's created for the hello games development team and nobody else okay that's what no man's sky is okay basically it's hello games as baby okay and basically it's all been designed around for hello games now we'll move on from that now what we're going to do is we're going to move on to the subject of persecution okay okay this is persecution is a bit of a strong word okay so it's it's what you call it it's it's um <clears throat> basically it's it's what hello games did to the community on the waypoint update that upset so many people and i would say about 75 percent of the actual people left the game okay now this is coming from my point of view and this is this is what i think okay is that what they did was when they actually because if you can't if if you just started the game now and you just listen to me talking this is what hello games actually did okay they launched this update and yes guys it was a free update okay a free update it always is a free update okay uh, they never charge for updates, which is brilliant. But the thing is, I prefer to pay for a DLC, which is half decent, than, than put up and be forced with these updates here and not being able to turn them off. Firstly, what they did was, okay, uh, I may get this in the wrong order, okay, but what they did was they, and I'll go over to my ship now. So this is Starship. I'm not, I'm on the wrong type of ship. I'm on a living ship. But what they did was all the technology slots here, originally what you had was you had i'll get me other ship to see so that you can actually see it better i'll get i'll get a fighter okay so i'll pull a fighter down like an alpha vector okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go in here and i'm going to explain to the people who probably wasn't here when the update was here so originally you had your main inventory which was main then you had your cargo and then you had your technology okay uh, there wasn't any of these supercharged slots. And what happens is that you, when you installed a a buyable uh, upgrade, the ones that you can get at the vendors, you know your upgrades, not not your technology, your upgrades, you could put six in. Okay, so you could put six in your technology. You could put three in your technology and three in your main, and your cargo was basically for this. Okay, so what Hello Games did is to remove the main, and they left. The technology there but advanced the slots out made, made it have more slots okay and then made you have more slots on your cargo okay but you can now only install three technology slots instead of six so what that did was all the ships that originally was in the game they they were highly underpowered okay when we came to load up a game all these had basically um repackaged uh, technology in them nobody knew what it was okay they came in and they've, they've been basically min maxing the, the ships forever and basically it was all uh, broken there was no explanation of what it was and how it was people had to basically work it out now you've got people who've been upgrading the ships 
for ages to getting them to the maximum st stats. Now, basically, what happened is Hello Games basically messed it all up, took it away from them, and then when they put all the parts back in, the ships were massively underpowered. So everybody complained. Okay, everybody complained like oh, it was a really big, massive ship fest, basically. And then what happened is Hello Games went, right, okay, okay, fine. We understand now. We've messed up. We'll put supercharged slots in. Now, they put supercharged slots in, and it still does give nothing nowhere near to what it actually was before. So, basically, they screwed over the ship upgrading community, okay, without warning. Right, so that was the first one. Now, the second one was they put labels above. The, the, we'll go on to that in a second, the labels, but then they gave us the cheat menu. Okay, well, I can't get it up on this because I've locked mine out. But what basically what it can do is, as you can see here, mine's locked out. What what you can do is basically you can switch from different modes now on the fly. So basically you can go over to creative, put as much free stuff on as you want, then go back into normal. And basically you can just cheat, cheat your ass all the way through the game and just not succeed on anything. Okay. That's the cheat menu. I call it the cheat menu, right? Basically, like it's a, sa a save editor on everybody else's system. You can just cheat your ass off on it, right? So, to put that in, okay, upset a lot of people. That upset the communities, which were the, the dead setters, the, the people who like the survival element, because you can basically go into survival and you can go into permadeath and just cheat your ass all the way through the game. And that's basically what they did and they upset a lot of people. So they upset the ship upgraders, the ship hunters, and the people who play the survival modes. Okay, so that's that's all those people now. And then all those people leave. Okay, uninstall the game and leave. Okay, now then what they do is the people that are actually left in the game itself... The people that are the, what you call it, the loyal ones that are left in the game themselves, and including the content creators and the Facebook people and stuff like that. The, what Hello Games do then is, the, you can't see it on here, but above your head in the Space Anomaly, you'll see like, it'll show you like an Atlas symbol, which will be like your normal mode, and then it'll show you like a, a padlock if you locked it out, or non-padlock, and it tells you what mode you're in. Now, that isn't needed in the game, because then that can be classed as bullying in the game. People can bully people, and basically, they did that to people. They labelled everybody. <laughs> And they labelled everybody's base computers. And they made everybody look horrible, right? And it, it, they, they promoted bullying within the community, okay? And then loads more people left the game, okay? Uninstalled, went, because they just felt so betrayed, okay? And at the end of the day, all that's left now is us YouTube content creators who's trying our very best to actually make content for you guys, who are the only the little tiny percentage of the people left in No Man's Sky, right? Hello Games haven't said anything or done anything. They've just disappeared, as they usually do, and stuck their head in the sand, realising they've just made a total and utter mess up of the game, okay, again. And... Now we're stuck looking for content. The Facebook groups are stuck looking for content. Nobody has any content whatsoever. And yes, I understand it's this time of year when things are quiet. But the reason why things are even quieter this time round before certain YouTube content creators have a go at me about this is that this update that just went, which was the Waypoint update, it wasn't a content update, it was a UI update, so there wasn't anything in the game to start with to put into videos. So basically, I'm screwed, Facebook groups are screwed, Twitter groups are screwed, everybody's screwed, and these are the people that Hello, these are the people that have promoted Hello Games for years, okay? So, yeah, it's, don't always trust on updates when they come out that they're going to be absolutely amazing guys because nine out of ten times whatever you put in the comments about what you want in an update won't happen in the update trust me trust me that will not happen okay you might get a little tiny bit of what you think is good okay but you really have to twist hello games arm around their backs just to get the update that you want now this isn't a diss video Right? This is an eye-opener video to Hello Games to basically say, pull your head out your asses, guys. You know, listen to your community, okay? We are the people that play the game 
all the time, okay? Especially us YouTubers, we play it all the time, right? We know what all the bugs are because our subscribers tell us what all the bugs are, okay? And we relay the information to the public and tell them, okay? That's what we do, okay? We do that on a daily basis, sometimes two videos a day. So we're always in the game. Look, watch our videos, Hello Games. We're here to help you, right? But we're not here to be screwed over by you, okay? So, you know, you want, you want to make a good game and you want to make profit from that game and sell that game, then basically don't screw us over because we're the people on the front line promoting your, your product. Now then, anyway, onwards and upwards. So I'm going to go through this here and I'm going to show you this bug, okay? So currently I put all the... The jellyfishes are all the sunsets actually on the thing. God, we've been going for 10 minutes. I ranted for 10 minutes. So, okay, so I'm going to go through here now. And at the other side of here, this should be a system that's six years old because basically all the sunsets take you to the center of the galaxy. It's a very old glitch method that actually portal the dress that takes you to the center. Okay, now it should do it because on four different systems, okay. Um, watch, I'll land on one that isn't. Okay, so I landed on one that isn't. Okay, but if I did it on one of the systems, okay, which I can't believe I landed on the one that isn't. Okay, but on one of the systems, okay, I think that's one of my bases over there, I think, isn't it? No, is it? No, it On one of them, on three of them, it should have my name actually on one of these planets and it's a bug in the game at the moment and I'm sorry for the person who had this planet originally or one of those planets originally I just went there and my name appeared on it so it's it's a bug in the game it's a crappy bug isn't it but it is what it is so what I'll do is I'll just do it one more time guys and uh, so I'm gonna go through here so from what I said about the history of what's happened with these updates and everything like that and how hello games don't listen to us and how frustrated everybody's getting now that there's nobody in the game okay and there's no content for us to do we're just basically just rattling from uh barring star system to barring star system okay constantly all the time okay this will be a half an hour video this then basically hello games what you need to do is you need to listen to community and you don't need to listen to all the hipster idiots on Twitter who basically are going to kneel down and suck most of the Hello Games team just to get promotions off them. Because what the fanboys do is they basically, they will, they will laugh at every one of your jokes, Hello Games. And what they'll do is they'll... They'll say that you're a wonderful bunch of people just to get promoted. And basically, you just suck into them, okay? Uh, you suck into their, basically, their BS, okay? And what they're doing is they're feeding you the information about these updates that you think that everybody's wanting. And don't listen to them. Come off Twitter. Come over to YouTube. Listen to what we've got to say. Because, like I said before, it's us that basically... Um, uh, what do you call it? Play the game all the time. Um, and it's us that know all the bugs. So come over. Look at our channels. Look at our feedback. Okay. Of what we want. And look at uh, what people are putting in the comments. And uh, it'll give you an idea of what the actual public actually want in No Man's Sky. Okay. Maybe you might make some money out of the game. If you do that. Instead of having a constant fail game. So let's see if I get my system this time. So, oh, this is a different one. First contact. Now then, here we go, guys. Okay, so I put them all in. So can you see that? It says there, first contact. So what I'm going to do is, this is a bug, okay? This is a really bad bug, okay? So currently, if I go into my discoveries now, okay? As you can see there, discovered today by Elite Gamers YouTube and the online discovery services are active, okay? So we've got this one here. Okay, so now that was discovered six years ago. Okay, it's a very, very populated system. Okay, okay, right. So, how come all of a sudden I've got that one? As you can see there, discovered by Elite Gamers YouTube, 58 bases. And I'm not modding or anything. Okay, explain that. Okay, 
and I can even go into here and put the and alter the name. Hello games, you need to look into that. You need to look into that. Really need to look into that because it's broken. Okay? I could now go to anybody's system and do that. So there we go, guys. Ooh, dangerous stuff at the end, isn't it? So that's how broken the game is. So I hope you enjoyed the rant. I hope you lasted the 25 minutes. And uh, that's it, guys. Well, don't forget to put in the comments what you think <coughs> you want on the update. Don't say, I want ship customizations and all that lot, because you know what I think of ship customizations. You can if you want. It's entirely up to you, but that'll never happen, guys. Mo you'll probably get more likely pigs flying or unica unicorns flying with Hello Games. You've probably got something stupid lined up that nobody will ever play. But the thing is, guys, put in the comments what you think and what you want. And I will see you on the next one. Well, thanks so much, guys, for watching the video. Thanks for listening to my rant. I'll be looking forward to another content creator giving me a diss video and probably a reaction video, probably one of the, the popular ones. And uh, that's it, guys, most likely. So uh, thanks very much for watching the video. Don't worry, this thumbnail won't have update on it. And I'm not clickbaiting. So there you go. Well, thanks very much for watching the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.